Okay, welcome back viewers. I am back in Mayhem Temple trying to get the two I'm going to get the two honeycombs that I missed. So first the first one you have to be a stony to get. And it's in Wumba's or er, near the entry or er, the world entry and exit. And it's just right back here. All you gotta do is do this. And then the next one's actually up there at the top of the bridge, but we can't get that. So I'll actually just meet you outside Mumbo School as Banjo and Kazoo. Okay, I'm back. And here we are. We're right outside Mumbo's Skull here. I almost said Mumbo's Wigwam, but it's not. It's a skull. And we're actually just going to come right up this way. Hello, fuck you, but... Yeah, so I pretty much gave up on my language barrier or whatever. I mean, I'll try to keep it to a minimal, but I promise nothing. So all I gotta do is just cross the bridge over here. Yeah, you're still jumping for joy. God dang, aren't you tired yet? Alright, so all I gotta do is backflip. No. All I gotta do is backflip. No. Wait, yes. Alright. Then just get it right up here. And bravo. That's everything. And then we can just actually go to view totals. <coughs> Which, view totals. Mayhem Temple. <coughs> Alright, we missed a Jinjo. Which, crap, where is that? a Cheeto page also. Ah, uh, well crap. Actually, I, we can get one more G, I do believe. So I will actually go do that. And it's outside the prison compound, so I will actually just meet you guys there. Oh crap, okay, well I'm back and I just remembered it's not the prison compound, it's Wumba's Wigwam. I thought I'd let you guys know instead of me just mysteriously popping up at the Jade Snake Grove instead of the prison compound. So all I gotta do is come up this way and... Actually, can you just walk up the side of this? Yeah, yeah, actually can. So we'll just climb up the side of this. And if you... Well, we're not there yet. And if you look carefully, you'll see that same stuff, kind of like the red stuff inside Unga Bunga's cave, and if you make too much noise, the snake actually wakes up, which I guess I'll show that actually. He wakes up, eats it, and he's like... Alright, so all you gotta do is come down here, he spits it back up, and he goes back to sleep. And just like in a good longest cave, you have to go slow, which hopefully I don't mess it up like I did that first time. So I'll probably just leave this in because it's a short distance, and I don't have to be quiet on the way back. But as soon as you get it, he stays asleep. See? Yeah, see, no wake up. Uh, oh, there's the other Cheeto page that I forgot to get. So all you gotta do is just... Ooh, no. Nope. Uh, okay, we'll just go this way. And you want to be careful of those little spore things sticking out, or actually where the enemies come out of. Which I like how their head blows up, yet they go right back in. And then you just drop all here, get your final Cheeto page. And I actually think there's a Jinjo in here. Might off screen, and then tell you where he's at. Okay, I am back. I actually just remembered not five seconds ago where he's at. So you can either just teleport to the world entry and exit, or if you were just miraculously paused to go where I was standing, that's fine also. But yeah, this is why I can find out where he's at. He's black and he's in the water. And dark against the dark background, pretty much. So, whatever. And I'm just gonna go pretty much done here for now. I mean, there's only one Jiggy left, but we can't get it because we don't have the necessary ability. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to King Dangalang, as Kazooie called him. And we're going to put together the next puzzle, which we don't even have to talk to him anymore. All you got to do is come over here, 
press B and let's begin. Alright, so let's just do all the puzzle pieces. God, I wish I knew how to fast forward and I would do that. And then I'd be talking like this, so when I play it and fast forward, it actually looks like I'm go talking normal. But since I don't know how to do that, I'll probably ask Capri Sun how he does it. I mean, he uses a capturing device, I use a digital camera, it might be different, I don't know. Oh man, my mouth's getting kind of dry. I'm sure there's some water up or something. Yeah, but whatever. Alright, so, King Dangalang. Wait, no. Wait, Dangalang? Huh. Oh, wait, no, that's not King Dangalang. King Dangalang's the other guy. Alright, well, King Jiggy Wiggy Higgy. I guess. I'll just ignore the whole Dangalang part. No reference to this. Which, earlier, when I actually started, I actually used the silo, which I didn't. I'm not going to share that because I think it's really all important. But you guys will see it soon enough, so it's all fine and everything. And we can do the next one. Well, I'm not going to do that. You guys can go ahead and do it. I'm just going to collect as many diggies as I can, and then I'll, I'll just do them as I can't do anything in the levels anymore. So what we actually want to do is we want to come all the way over here. Wait, hold on. There's actually a ginger down this way. Don't want to skip this guy. I'll be using the Talon truck pretty much a lot. And hey, look, he's blue. That shows up great in our seven of them. I think there are actually nine Jinjo families. And it'll start out with one Jinjo family with one through nine. The next one will be one through eight. And it goes down to one to one, which I already have the first one. And he was the white one. You viewers might not actually get him where I got him. Some of you might, if you're lucky. But if not, do not worry. I'm going to get every single Jinjo, I hope. But if not, just go check out Nintendo Capri Sun LP. He 100% it, and I think his is so much is going to be so much better than mine. But whatever. So actually, first, what you want to do is you see the sign says Glitter Gold Mine, which is actually the next level we're going to do. And we're just going to collect all these notes real quick, and we're going to get a new ability. Actually, Kazooie's going to get one. And if you guys can hear that Jinjo, he's actually under here, which you can't get. Yeah, you hear him whistling. Yeah, whatever. But, so, actually, here's the other silo. Activate it. And now we have three. The one inside the Jinjo village. And the one in, well, right outside King Jiggy Wiggy's palace. And this one. And actually, this is our next move. And then after this, I think there's one more Jinjo that I'm going to get. I think. And then I'm going to end this one because I forgot to delete everything off my digital camera from, last, from this morning's uh, session where I was essentially like a minute or an hour and something long. So I only got 14 minutes left on my camera on my capture card. And these are the new eggs. If you were paying attention to what he said, not to what I said, they're actually fire eggs, which... What's up here? Oh, actually, never mind, it is it. See, this is where the first person egg shooting also comes in handy, is this. So you want to hit right bumper, and you want to shoot it. Oh my god, I saw those hands pop up on the screen for a second. That's kind of creepy. Oh, wait, I think that just goes to the next area. Well, I guess I'll show it, I guess. And then I'll just use the silo to get back here, and then I'll end the LP. Just so you guys can see what the silos do. And we could get all this crap, which you guys can go ahead if you are playing along with me. But if, if I don't want you guys to get lost. So, like, guys, just go ahead. But if you're just trying to follow me, then I wouldn't collect them just yet. I will collect them when I actually unlock that level, which I could have done since I had enough jiggies. Or, yeah, enough jiggies and everything, but... So, this is the end of this LP. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Caboose, and I will see you guys later. Alright, bye.